On June 28th, 2021, Discord announced the release of their new feature, Threads. In this video, you'll learn how to get access to threads, create them, and manage them for your Discord server. Now, this is really cool. Just a few hours ago, a Discord staff member announced the release in the Discord developer's server, saying that bot developers are getting early access to test out threads. This is to help these developers integrate threads in their own systems before they fully release to everyone. Part 1. Get Access Let's learn how to get access to threads. Now, as of recording this video, threads have not yet been released to all servers. If you're watching this video and threads are officially out, then you can skip to part two of this video. Check the description down below for timestamps. Now, to get access to threads, you either have to be using the Discord Canary client or PTB, which is the public test build. Now, downloading an entirely new version of Discord might seem a little daunting, but it's pretty simple and I'll have the link to download Canary in the description down below. Next, you must be on a server that has up to five members, and one of these members has to be a bot. This is because Discord wants to release threads to bot developers who are incorporating threads into their own systems first. I'd like to thank Discord for doing this. It makes it wonderful for mod mail bots and ticket bots and others who want to be ready for threads. Now, quick pause. My name is Rishabh and I make videos about Discord. If you want to get the coolest Discord tips and tricks early, definitely consider subscribing. It's totally free and helps me out a lot. On with the video. So as you can see, I'm over here in a Discord server that has five members and a Discord bot and threads are enabled. Thanks to Cole for helping with the creation of this video. If we head over to the server settings in the Discord menu and then press threads, you'll see a new menu that says say hello to threads. Over here, there's a big blue button that says threads enabled, and you will be able to press this to enable threads into your Discord server. And as they write, threads are temporary sub discussions within a channel that keep conversations focused in your server, and they're coming soon. So now that you've got threads enabled, how can we actually create one? Part two, create threads. Now, as you can see, I'm over here in the general channel of a Discord server, and all we have to do to create a new thread is to hover over a message and then press the create thread button. I could also alternatively press the plus button on Discord near the message bar and then press create thread. Also, we can go over into this new menu, which is called thread discovery and press the blue button that says create thread. And again, we will be able to create a new thread. Now, as you can see over here, threads have a couple main attributes. They have a thread name, which you can specify, a starter message, and a drop-down box that allows you to select how long you want the thread to archive after. So for instance, let's say I want to archive the thread after a week of inactivity, I can select that button, and if nobody talks in our thread for a week, the thread will be automatically archived. Finally, we can also check this button that says private thread. Here, now only people we invite and moderators will be able to see the thread, and we could invite more people to the thread by simply mentioning people. So this is a really cool new Discord feature because as you can see here, it's literally split our screen. We have the main channel over here and we have threads on the side of it. And over here on the channels list, you'll see we also have a new squiggly line that indicates our list of threads. So over here, I'm in the threads and it automatically sent a message by me with our message or description for that thread. But how do we actually invite people to this? Well, if you're a moderator, and since I've set this to be a private thread, mods can head over to the thread section Section and join threads just like that. But if I was a normal member, how could I get invited to a thread? Well, that's where mentioning comes in. Just by mentioning or inviting users, we can get them into the thread. So as you can see over here, let's say I wanna add Cole manually to the thread, I can just tag him and just like that, he's been added. So currently due to this early access and testing, users who have threads enabled right now on their servers are able to create private threads without having level two boost perks, meaning that without having 15 boosts, you're getting that premium feature for free. But later on, Discord will likely restrict this feature to be premium only. Part three, manage threads. So as I mentioned, we can set threads to archive after a certain amount of inactivity. But if we're done with the conversation, all we have to do is press archive thread by right clicking on it in the threads discovery menu. We can also right click on the thread in the channels list and then press archive thread. 
Now, as you can see over here, the thread no longer shows up on the channel list. But if we head over here to the archive section and go to public or private, we can now join in on these threads. Now this thread is archived, but we can unarchive it simply by pressing the button that says to. Keep in mind that Discord may change these logistics in the future. That being said, there are new text channel permissions when it comes to using threads. As you can see over here, there's a new permission called use public threads. If you want members to be able to talk in threads and join them, you need to have this enabled. You can also enable private threads. This will allow members to create and chat in private threads in, within a channel. Now this is great because we can restrict these permissions specifically for certain channels, meaning that if we have some channel and we don't want members to just be creating random threads for it, we can manually alter these permissions. Finally, there's also a new permission for our moderators who might want to manage threads. As you can see over here, there's one called manage threads, and that's for renaming, deleting, archive, unarchive, turning on slow modes, and viewing private threads. So this is the permission you're gonna to wanna to give to your moderators. So that's it for threads. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe. Check out my next video on the screen, which will show you another cool Discord feature. I'll see you in the next one.